Hello. Now I'm going to say those numbers slowly Go for the heart of things. Have it beside your telephone so that you can join in the greatest mass debate that this country has ever heard. So there you are. That's you up to speed on everything that's happening. Now, if you telephone any of the numbers just now, you will not get through. These numbers are about as much use to you, right, as uh, a chocolate teapot on a motorbike, right? But you must ring them and redial and redial and redial and try and try and try again like Robert the Bruce and the Spider and you will get on the phone in. I promise you. Right hand up to the big man. Okay, right. We're off to the telephones and uh, we're talking to... Uh, oh, God, I don't believe. John from Alfreton. Uh, shall we let John on tonight or not? Now, wait till we see. We banned him last week because he's on too much. So what if we put John on the one-minute rule? I think we'll put you on the one-minute rule tonight. Dinky-doo, John. Good evening, Scotty. It Hi. has to be quick for me because whilst I've been on hold, there's another call trying to get through. Oh, right. Got... Do you want me to let you go just now? Regarding, um... Do you want me to let you get your other call, John? Regarding women... John, um, who do you want... Work... John, do you want to get your other call no, just I'm now? I'm all right. It's taking a message at this present moment. Are you I'll sure? Is message. it taking a yes. massage? It comes through in actual fact. Are you all right? There's a recording system because whereby... I don't want to get in the road of, you know, your your, no. your, your private business. Regarding... I, I, I know I don't you, want to... You know to, what I mean. I don't want to in any way... Um, dominate lines so i'm just taking this call yeah, I, love it, uh, man. I had a situation in actual fact whereby um a couple of years ago i had a bank statement which was in error it was inaccurate i went in i spoke to the senior cashier who happened to be uh, what i thought uh, an obliging uh, um young woman yes. and she said well i can't deal with it now can you come back this afternoon and i said well I i'm here now she said no i can't so right i had a bit of shopping to oh, do oh that's no good john yeah I had a bit of shopping to do, and I thought, well, I've still got half an hour to, to uh, um, kill in actual fact. So oh, I called no, in the no. pub, and I thought I'd have half a bitter. Lo and behold, who was standing at the bar drinking cocktails uh, but the senior cashier? No. Um, no. Now, is it the, the stress of the job, or is it not? Women's uh, livers are uh, a third the size of men's. Yes. I don't accept the responsibility and the suggestion that, that it is stress. I think women are becoming power uh, uh, workers, and they wish to dominate, and that is my view in actual fact. And they well, try you to know, John, John, dare I say, I mean, there's two points in what you've raised there. One, no way should you have been told she can't do it. Can you come back? You're a customer of the bank. You deserve a lot more respect than that. Yes, and you I always can. get respect when you come on here. Scotty, I'm no, I'm no yeah. longer a customer of that bank. Well, I'm, I change banks. Well, I'm no I'll longer a customer you, of I'll that bank. I'll tell you, I mean, I obviously can't open an account with Century Radio for you, but, you know, I mean, you'd be very welcome. If, if hey, it, Scotty, to make an apology to me, what about one of your free... Um, excuse um, me, excuse me, what's all this to make an apology to you? If anybody owes anybody an apology, you owe me one. Do you want to send me one as a stocking filler, one of your Scotty McClue's... Well, um, I'll tell you what, John, I'll do a deal with you since right. I'm actually rather fond of you, right? Mm -hmm. I will send you yes. a Scotty McClue CD, the best of Scotty McClue, if you send me a check for eleven ninety nine, how about that? All right, we'll do it. But there, it's not the deal. banking question; it's a different bank. There's a deal, but uh, no, I think you're worthy well, of a lot more respect. Than, I mean, it's all right for for me to muck about with you, but not for for these little girls in banks. Well, that's what I got. In no, no, fact. no. You deserve a lot more respect than that. I mean, it it might seem strange, but I mean, if uh, if if she'd uh, if she'd in any way berated you in front of me, I would have given her what for you. Yes. See? Yes. But that's the situation oh, yes. I got. I was oh, told no. it couldn't be dealt with then. Oh, no, I'm afraid. I'm afraid when the chips are when the chips are down, John. You yes. know. And no, a, a point, just I, a quick. Point. You know where my loyalties now. lie. Yep. You know where my loyalties lie when the chips are down. That's it. Uh, just a quick point. What about was the other point? No, what was the other point I was going to make before What's you? That? Went? Oh yes, drinking. Yes, she was drinking as well. She was drinking as well. Yes. Yes. Tequila Sunrise she was drinking, which oh, was amazing. costing £2.20 a go. Because you bought her one. Sorry? Because <laughs> you bought her one. I, no, I didn't <laughs> buy her one. And she oh, wasn't yes, extremely she good looking. I wouldn't have given her one either. You said, now then, love, can I get you another of those? <laughs>
But <laughs> can I just make one final point, Scotty, yes, on wife it. swapping? It's always happened. Your, your, your other topic, wife swapping has always happened. It's, it's one of those things, it's, it's kept under the carpet, it's kept in the family, it's always happened in actual fact, but it's just now been raised, it's, it's ugly head, may I say, because, um, yes, as you say, um, John, it's, it's all, great infidelity. John, all I can say to you is that your private life's a lot more interesting than mine. I don't go wife swapping. <laughs> I'm often accused of being too close to my dog. I think the lady doth protesteth too much. Uh, dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky bye bye. Do. Bye bye, my dear. Right, there we go. That's it. John from Alfton. We got that sorted out nice and early in the evening. We can now get on with the proceedings. Right, Sean from Leicester. Dinky do, Sean. Okay. Yeah, Sean at all? You Hello. busy? Hello. How are you diddling? How are you diddling, mate? Oh, we just had the kettle singers round. You, you can hear them in the background, can't you? You've just had the polis round? No, no, the kettle singers. The Coleman? Singing, yeah, the kettle singers. The call, uh, the call, uh, the yeah. call stingers? No, not the calls, no, no. Um, You've had the Coleman round at this time of night? Yeah. What? Yeah, there's a singer's song what? about oh, got something about a dicky dido. Anyway, we've given them half a packet of cigarettes and they've, uh, Oh, uh, well. Agreed to sort of clear off. You don't want any of that. Nah. Anyway, I think the spirit of Christmas has been lost, hasn't it? I think it's a bit early to be talking about that, to be honest with you, Sean. Now, uh, we've got Di in Warrington. Di, love you. Are you there? Are you not there? No, oh, I think she is. I think she's having a bit of time off. Right, we'll see if she comes back. Dave's on the M6. Dinky do, Dave. Uh, Dave, are you dinky do there, Dave? Right, You're on there, Dave. Dinky do to you again. Hello? Hello, Dave and the M6. Yeah, hello, mate. You all right, buddy? How you doing, pal? All right? I'm all right, me old mucker. Me old mucker, eh? Hey, old me old mucker, dinky-doo. <laughs> I'm just uh, ringing about this uh, wife swapping. The wife swapping? I think it should be, uh, I think everybody should do it. Do you reckon? Give a bit of spark into the old one-two buckle, my shoe. I think we should all be like dogs and... I think that's over the top, you are. Right, there we are. Nicholas from Bangor, dinky-doo, Nick. Hello, Scotty. How, How are, you? are you, sir? Oh, I'm all right. And nice, you? nice to hear a bit of quality, you know. A bit of quality. Oh, well, that's very kind of you to say. So. Well, a little bit of class on the phone in there. Very nice. Yeah, well, that's all right. I to try my best, you know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you keeping, anyway? I'm keeping not too bad at all. Very kind of you to ask, actually. Yeah? Oh, that's yes. good. I've been able to listen to you a lot recently, because uh, this scaffolding's still up, you know. Have you got the scaffolding up? Yeah. Is it all right? Oh, well, it's fine, yeah, but it's annoying. I get concerned about the scaffolding being up. You know, it'll, it'll operate as an aerial, does it? it? Well, it seems to... No, I wish it did. It, seems it, it doesn't, it sort of screens it a bit, does it? Gives you a little bit of shush. shush. Yeah, well, a lot of it, in fact, too much. Can't a lot of shush. shush. Yeah. Yes, yeah. not so good. No good at all, that. So, as soon as it's out of the way, I'll be back on there. Uh, You'll be back on there, yeah, nice and clear, no shush. shush. That's right, definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so in fact, I haven't been able to hear what you've been talking about for the last. Oh, for time. goodness' sake! It's been fascinating. Has it? Never a dull moment. Yeah. Oh. Never a dull moment. Mind you, what you're talking about tonight sounds fairly yeah. interesting as well. I mean, it's absolutely incredible, but uh, uh, you know, we've had some fascinating people out, Nick. You know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Great stuff. Right. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful program, actually. You know, with these people. Oh, it is. Yeah. Now you got. Uh, no, not to do with me. I'm to do with the people. You know, I mean, the fantastic. Yeah, well, it's you as well. Uh, one, or, one or two geniuses, you know. Yeah, that's right. Mm. And, and, of course... Uh, no rubbish. You've got, you've got to have a brilliant presenter like yourself as well on there. Well, that's enough of that now, Nick. There's, <laughs> no, there's no need for any of that. <laughs> well, you know, the odd bit of flattery doesn't come amiss, does it, really? Yes, yeah. yes, you can't do <laughs> that. Yes, the odd bit of philately. <laughs> Collecting stamps. That's it, yeah. The odd bit of philately. Oh, dear, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's funny what, what... Do you know what numismatism is? Do I know what what is? Sorry. N numismatism. Numismatism. No, I don't. Ah, that's in it. You know about philately, don't you? F philately. Collecting Phil stamps, yeah? Collecting stamps. Yeah. Well, do you know what numismatism is? I don't, know. Right. No, I don't know what that is. I'll, I'll put that one out to the nation. No. Yeah, uh, yes, I mean, yes. Yeah, good idea, yeah. No, not no, yes, that's the No, one. yes, that's what I'm No, yes, <laughs> right. The answer's uh, wrong there, yeah. <laughs> 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 what are you talking just mentioned on the subject tonight um, yes. about 
was it you saying probably women should be given a full-time job? No, I think they should be given part-time jobs because they're not oh, coping no. with the stress. They're going on the bevy. They're going on the as, sauce. As a result of the full-time jobs. As yeah. a result of the full-time jobs. But the only thing is, because they've got virtually nothing to do in their lives now, if you give them part-time jobs, what you know, how are they going to fill them? They might still drink just as much, I suppose, mightn't they? Well, this is the worry, you see. Yeah. I mean, they, they actually, even if they got full time. You see, this is what I've always said: women are the weaker sex, and they won't yeah. listen to me. You know, and then here it's coming out in alcohol now. Because yeah. in the old days they couldn't drink; that was what the men did, king of the jungle. Yeah, exactly. So the women are trying all these things out to see if they like it now. Yeah, and uh, and at the end of the day, I think they're wishing they were back at home again, aren't they? A lot of them. Yes, yes, they do. I mean, that's where a woman's place is at home. There's no substitute for it, and they love it. That's right, because even if you give them a full-time job in an office, they're only working part-time anyway, really. They're only working part-time, by the yeah. time they've been to the loo, done the nails, had a bit of chit-chat, you know. Yeah, because I used to work in a factory, and it was always the, the toilet sort of queue was non-stop for the women. Oh, yes. I mean, I mean, men don't go from one end of the day to the other, you know, yeah. but the women are just going oh, to the toilet. Been... Anybody coming? That's yeah. always the thing. I'm just going to it, Lou. Anybody coming? Yeah, and about 50 of them will go. And know. off with their handbags, you know. All the God knows what they've got in there. Yeah. Hey. Uh, anyway, lovely to anyway. talk to you. And, um, you know, I can't stand around enjoying myself all well, day. It wouldn't do, would it, really? It wouldn't yeah. do, La. But no. uh, is everything all right with you? It, it is, yeah. Very That's well. the main thing. I'd be That's better the... once I can start listening to you again properly. Of course. Know. I agree. Yeah. And I can start broadcasting to you. That, exactly. Yes. Because of the scaffolding. Because of the scaffolding, yeah. When the banger. Be fine. Yep. <laughs> hey, dinky do. <laughs> dinky do. Scotty. Love to bang on upper and lower. I will. Yeah, I'll uh, do that. I'll see you, mate. <laughs> okay, dinky do. Ta da, dinky do. Dinky do now. Dinky do. See, see you now. Ta da. See ya. Are you gone? Right. Okay. Sarah is in Accrington. Are you there, Sarah? Dinky do. Hello, Scotty. How are we, love? Dinky do to you. Hello. Hey, um, Oh. Um, I dare say you watched the Cenotaph on Sunday. I did indeed. I knew you would indeed, you do. I did indeed. Right. Um, Nothing gets past me, you know. Pardon? Nothing gets past me. Well, <laughs> I just wanted to ask you, uh, which I know you'll, you'll know, um, there was a letter um, read uh, from the narrator, which I've never heard before, and apparently it was from a soldier to his mum. Um, and I don't know what it said. I think it said something like, if you read this letter, I'll be dead. Have you any idea if it's um, that's been uh, published or because I thought it was wonderful? It wasn't do not stand at my grave and weep, was it? I don't know, darling, but I've never heard it before. I think it might have been. Uh, do I not stand. Not I am not dead. I am the... Uh, uh, yes. The yes. rushing air. Yes. yes. And I thought, I know, Scotty McClure will know. Yes, I do I know it very well. Of I, I actually, I've, I've read that many, many times at funerals. And, do you know, I have never heard of it. I don't. Yes, I think it's called uh, Anir's Prayer, Love. Pardon? Anir, A-N-A-R-E, I think Anir. it is. And there's two... Um, Two schools of thought about its origin. Yeah. One is it uh, is the work of a North American native Indian. Oh, it's wonderful. Right. And the other is that it was an Irishman that wrote it. Ah, well, you see, I'm Irish. Right. <laughs> Do not stand at my grave and weep. Oh, yes. 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 I am true. not there. I do not sleep. Yes. You know, and then it That's says, true. I am the... the oh, Ever circling rush of birds and and that sort of thing. I can't I can't honestly remember it off the top of my head. I heard it on Sunday, and I must admit. And if it it finishes up, do not stand at my grave. I I I am not there. I did not die. Yes, that's and the I one. knew I knew if anybody would know. Yes, would. I think and it's I called a near or a Nari's poem. A Nari's poem. A n a r e. Apostrophe S A N A R E, and it starts. Do not stand at my grave. My grave. Yes, and I've weep. got that wrote down. Mm. And then at the end, I've got you know, I will. I do not weep, and I am not there. 
and I thought it was wonderful. Yes. I've never heard it before. Is that the first time it's ever... No, no, it's because been... Normally, a... I, 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 do, I always listen. No, it's quite a well-known piece, but I have to say, I have never heard it read out at Remembrance Sunday. But I thought, no, neither have I. I haven't heard it read out at the Cenotaph. But when I'm, I was I'm... younger, I used to be in the um, Sea Cadets, you know, the female part. Sea Cadets, absolutely, yes. Yes, of course, of course. And uh, I can never remember that, but when I when I heard it, I just... I thought it was it was wonderful. No, the 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 sort of um, um, words that are usually said at the cenotaph for the um, the the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them. Yes, yes. and I, I I mean I loved everything else about it, but that just I thought that is wonderful. That just. Actually, I cried. I really, really... They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. But at the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Um, I knew we will remember them. I knew. But if anybody knows, it will be Scotty McClough. There you are, love. That's all I've you up for. Yes, as far yes. as I know. But, uh, but check it out, and perhaps some other people will come on and tell us a bit more about it. I don't it. think so. I think you'd be quite right. But I thought it was absolutely... Superb! I mm. loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was wonderful because I don't think anybody should forget mm. what they shouldn't. They shouldn't. They really shouldn't. And I heard that, and it's something I've actually heard for the first time because normally, um, which I was in tears actually at weekend when I heard it. That's very moving. Thought, that is wonderful. And of course, Tom Fleming is perhaps one of the finest broadcasters this country's ever had. Uh, his, his voice is wonderful. Oh, yeah. I mean, that just sort of, yeah, brings you to tears. But mm. I have never heard that before. I've never heard that before. Well, I haven't heard that read out at, at uh, a remembrance service. And I've been, you know, I've attended remembrance services all over the country um, from the, the main service at the Cenotaph in London, to services in Liverpool, in Manchester, in yeah. Scotland, Glasgow, Edinburgh, um, Ulverston. I attended yeah. one, and it depends on where I, I've been on Remembrance yeah. Sunday. I attended one in Chorley. Yeah, I have to remember Newton Le Willows. Attended one in Newton Le Willows. Yeah, you know, with a couple band. But wasn't that just? I don't know. It. I don't know, it was like feathers in the wind. It was wonderful. It was wonderful, Dad. Well, it starts it off, Do not sleep. stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not there. sleep. It was like feathers in the wind. I can't describe. Yes. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. I I've am the quiet rush before. of birds in flight. Yes. Yes. And I thought, if anybody will know it, I'm sure if I ring Scotty, he probably will. All right, my darling. Somewhere along the line, I will be able to get along. You will, darling, yes. I mean, I, prob I, I may even have a copy of it myself, and if I have, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it in and let you know. No problem, love. Somebody <laughs> well, will let us know. Thank you very much, Scott. Hey, dinky-doo. Good day. Thank you. Pleasure, Bye -bye. darling. Bye-bye. Dinky-doo. Andy from Wrexham. Hello, Scotty. How are you doing, mate? Can I, I can ask you for a favour, yeah? Anything. Uh, can I just say 54th birthday to my mum? Oh, absolutely. What's her first name? Helen. Helen. She's a great woman as well. Happy birthday to you. Happy up. birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear 54-year-old Helen. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Uh, thank you, Scott. How's that? That was brilliant. Would, 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 you like the old, would you like the old fanfare? Pardon? Would you like the old fanfare? Yes, please. Eh? Hey? <laughs> How's that? That's brilliant. Can hey. I tell you a joke as well? Yes, please. Uh, why are women's feet so small? Thank you very much. That's enough of that. No, um, not Mark, is it? No, it's Nick. Nick from Ellesmere Port. Dinky do, Nick. Yeah. Um, why didn't you just get up and get themselves a job instead of staying around on the streets and begging for money? Well, we'll have to ask them, Nick, and see if they come on. Fair point. Hey, dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do, mate. Right, Nathan from Crew, are you there, Nathan? I am, I am, Scotty. How you doing, buddy? Dinky do. You alright? I'm not too bad for my age. Good. I'm a first time caller, Scotty, so. Well, welcome to the programme. Thank you very much. I've no been listening to you for ages, though, so. Do you like it? I think it's brilliant, yeah. Mm. Right, I've got a few, a few things to talk to you about, Scotty. Yep, go on. 
Right, first of all, what do you think the score would be tomorrow between England and Scotland? Oh, for heaven's sake, you know, we don't talk about football on here. Oh. Oh, we're extremely busy tonight, and uh, I'll give you the numbers once again. Fat lot of good they'll be to you, though you can't get on here for come hell or high water. That's what they say in maritime circles, so all the scousers will know all about that.